Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to MLS Journeyman with Zebu Nation as we continue the 2022 MLS playoffs. We're going to face Philadelphia in the Eastern Conference Final. Take a look at the old Western, not that, Western Conference Playoff. It is Houston versus LAFC. Just to give us a reminder of how we got here, I guess. We'll, maybe we'll maybe we'll get there eventually. And uh, hello, hello, please. There it is. So Houston did beat Minnesota. LAFC beat San Jose two one. Put two of the top teams against each other in the Western Conference. Winner takes on the winner of today's matchup versus Philadelphia and Inter Miami. We are, interestingly, in Mercedes-Benz <laughs> Stadium, Atlanta, Georgia. Why is that? Why, aren't, why don't we have a home game? The, is the Eastern Conference final supposed to be at a neutral site? I didn't know that. That seems different. Okay, whatever. Um, Philadelphia seems to be at full strength. We do still have our injuries. Shaq Moore out, Suarez out, Mendez doubtful. Everybody injured. Get out of here. We are still six to four favorites, though, in this uh, in this little uh, neutral site game for whatever reason. But uh, in our last only six games versus Philadelphia, we're two wins, two draws, and two losses. So it's a, been a very even series. We'll see. Uh, we'll see if we can break this this series wide open here. Jim Curtin. 43 years old, is the head coach. Been there since 2014. Before that, interim coach. Before that, coach. Before that, Union Academy coach. So this is a Philadelphia man, without a doubt. He's a pretty good coach, good man management. You know, He's got uh, you know, a lot of abilities that are decent. You know, His best, by far, is working with youngsters. So you can see he's got that academy background he's determined all of that stuff he's a very very fine mls coach all right enough of that get to the selection we're going with the same team as last time no changes no um can we can we fit mendez into the lineup just in case you know everybody else is straight up injured so we might as well have seven guys on the bench. We'll see. Can we? Yeah, looks like it. Looks like it. Okay. So, you know, Mendez will be an emergency replacement type guy. But, you know, just in case. Just in case. So, like I said, same lineup. Johnson in goal. Martins. Banos on the right-hand side. Trusty and Perez in central defense. Norman and Philippe in the midfield. Pe Pellegrini. Reyna. Hedarovic. And Martin up top. Captain for Philadelphia, Bednick, goalkeeper, Joe Bednick. 33 appearances, 34 concessions. That's pretty good. Most goalkeepers, you know, you keep it to a goal a game. It's, it's pretty good. Um, is this Mark Anthony K? It is Mark Anthony K playing left back. It's an interesting choice. Skelvik, McKenzie, Cedric on the right. He's a pretty good player. Two assists. 6.95 rating, decent rating, but not great. Mendez and Roldan in the midfield. Randall Leal, five goals, four assists on the left-hand side. Nagalina, Michi, 31 appearances, six goals, five assists. Fabian at the number 10, only 15 starts, six goals, four assists, 7.01 rating. And then leading goal scorer, Lucas, with one name, 12 goals. This guy must be Brazilian. Uh, yes, Brazilian, capped at the under-23 level. He's only 21 years old. Not great finishing, but a lot of flair. He's got a lot of potential. This, you know, he, he could be a very, very good player. He's, he's on the cusp, you know. Right now he's got some greens, a lot of blues. Um, but, you know, if he just gets a little bit better in some of those blue areas, he'll be pretty good. 
Um, but he's still a youngster, but he's good. So we can't uh, we can't ignore him. Let's get to the match. All right, Eastern Conference Finals dressing room. What do you say? What do you say with the Eastern Conference Finals? You be passionate, and you say, go out there and impress me. I guess okay. Johnson and Norman want to impress everybody else. Eh, listened keenly. Uh, let's see, Zach Morgan of the American Soccer Informer. You can make a real statement about your intention, tensions even. Um, will you go out and attack? Yes, we will. Um, Inter Miami side can book a, a spot in the MLS competition proper, MLS Cup prop competition. Uh, let's see, we put ourselves in the best possible position. Three questions, huh? You're asking three questions, eh, Zach? Inter Miami are unbeaten in their last four against Philadelphia. That's I didn't know. So they won the first two, and then we had two draws and two wins after that. So that's good. Um, let's see. Um, uh, this is a brand new match. Previous encounters have no bearing. Sure. Uh, your team selection is offered little by way of surprise. We honestly don't have any choice. Um, I don't know. We got a strong team, chance of winning, capable, all that. Blah blah blah. Let's get to the game. In Mercedes Benz Superdome, for some reason, I'm not sure why. Is this a new twist? Perez, nice header to win the ball. Pellegrini. Okay, so last time we had an ultra highlight to start the game. Today it's a little bit more usual. All right. Three minutes, 45 seconds. Let's see if we can build an attack from the back. Perez gets to Torreina at midfield with a ton of space. They had a big hole in their defense right there. Reyna around one man, sends a shot in. You know, Reyna doesn't put a lot of strength on his shots. Um, so I don't know. Maybe we should put somebody else in there. But for now, this is what we're going with. Martins, okay, does not get it stolen. We're at midfield here. We are in the gray jerseys, just in case you forgot. Reyna trying to go around another man. He does, turns him inside out. There's a big tackle, but it goes straight to Philippe. Philippe gets it forward to Martin, but he can't score on the captain, Bendik. Here's Philadelphia now with a free kick, sending one in. Oof, that was a strange clearance by Reyna, but luckily... It bounces the correct way. Fabian sends it back post. Liel heads it over. Okay. Philadelphia showing they've got a little, little spark in them as well. Here we go. Corner. Miami. Louis Philippe taking it near side. Sends it up. Hey, Derevich with the header. But again, straight into Bendik. Come on, boys. Let's. Uh, you know what? I'm going to tell them. I'm going to tell him to get creative. How about that? They're sending everything straight into the goalkeeper. Let's try not doing that. Is that possible? Here's Trusty, Norman, Pellegrini. Okay, we're working it around. Norman with a big shot. That was going in. Bendik had to make that save for sure. Okay, we're telling him to get, to get creative. Philippe, not incredibly creative, but there's Haydarovich on the backside. Okay, maybe a little too creative there. Perez, triple covered. Again, not a great attempt, but what, what are you going to do when you're triple covered like that? Philadelphia clears it. Okay, 23 minutes. Here's Philadelphia with another free kick. Ooh, a header just wide. I don't like these Philadelphia set pieces. They seem, uh, they seem well organized. I don't like that. Here's another one rolled on. Bounces into the wall. Skelvik has it. Get it, get it, get it. Okay, he drops it back. Terrible pass. Martin fouled at midfield. Okay. Fabian's getting too much space. We'll close him down. Here we go. Corner. Near side. Philippe. Little chop step run up. There it is. Trusty. Wow, we've been waiting all year for this dude. To score on one of those, and he finally does. 
I mean, it was it was perfect too. I mean, watch this. Boom, far post. Very difficult for the goalkeeper to stop that one. There we go. One nil. Going into halftime. Can we make it two? Banos gets it back. This isn't really his forte moving forward. Philippe has it. Chips it ahead to Martin. Great shot, but a great deflection. And then Reyna picks up the trash and puts it in the bin. That was some uh, some stick to right there in the, in the case of our attackers. So Philippe to Martin with a rocket shot. Bendik stops it. And then a little deflection there goes straight to Reyna. Pellegrini, Martini, and Rossi. Uh, no, not Rossi. Uh, you know what I'm talking about, Reyna. Anyway, 2-0. Nil. 2-0, two nil. nine shots, seven on target. That's what I'm talking about right there. All right, all right. Let's just uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Tactics. Let's go positive and shorter passes. We'll try to uh, just get to the get to the championship game. We don't need to mess around. We don't need to score a million goals. Two nil is perfect. We'll take it and go home. Thank you very much. Let's go. This year, you know, if we can, if we can win this with Miami, that's. I mean, that's the hat trick right there, you know, in terms of over the course of our time with Miami, win the Supporters' Shield, win Champions League, win MLS Cup. There's really nothing else to do at that point. So why wouldn't you move on and try to do it again with another team? Here we go. Johnson sends it out. Pellegrini again wide open. This defense of Philadelphia has got a big hole in the middle of it. Norman to Philippe. Gets it forward. Reyna. Reyna. Big shot just off the post. That one had eyes for the top corner. Wow. You know, I know I sort of have been dogging on Reyna for his last few shots in his last couple games, but what is his long shooting? It's only 12. Okay, okay, 76 minutes. We're just wasting time. That's fine. We got no we got nowhere else to be. Trusty, 83 minutes. Gets it to Norman. Martins. Just gonna just gonna play with it. You know, don't turn it over. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Drop it all the way back to Johnson. He's gonna leisurely take it. Okay, Philippe wide open. I'm going to restart the attack. Banos with a bunch of space down the near sideline. You know, it's like, they why cover him? He's not he's not a big threat out there. But there's a nice pass to Reyna. Reyna around one defender. Cuts in. Drops it to Martin. Another great stop from Bendik. Reyna is causing them all kinds of problems. Just Martin can't finish. Here's Philippe. Bendik grabs it out of the air. Okay, um, 88 minutes, so we should be cruising to the cup. Cruising to the cup. Good steal from Pellegrini. Drops it to Reyna again with some space. Drops it to Philippe. Norman, okay, just back and forth. We're playing patty cakes with it. Pellegrini gets it out wide to Martins. He's got plenty of space. 90 minutes. Okay, Norman and Banyas are both exhausted. That's fine. There's only two minutes of stoppage time left. But Philadelphia is on the counterattack. Cedric moving forward. Roll Don sends it into the tunnel. That ball is going to be rolling forever down in the bowels of the stadium. A minute left to go. We're just sort of wasting time at this point. Philadelphia stuck deep in their own end. With 45 seconds to go in the game. So the question is, do we want to face L.A. or do we want to face 
Houston. I don't know much about Houston this year. L.A., you know, they're still good. They still got all those guys, Vela and Rossi and all those dudes. But I don't know. They didn't win the Western Conference this year, so I don't know exactly how good they are. Martins to Trusty. There's the Trusty we know and love heading it over the goal. And that should be the final whistle, and it is. There it is, boys. Eastern Conference champions twice in a row. 13 shots, 10 on target. That's pretty good right there. That's some efficiency. 56% possession, just dominant. Reyna and Trusty with the goals, Philippe with the yellow card. Hopefully he doesn't get red carded because that would be terrible. All right. So let's see. Who do we play? Who do we play? Inter-Miami win the Eastern Conference final. Triumph against New England. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Inter-Miami delighted. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is it? We have two championships this year. Why didn't we have two championships last year? I don't understand. Anyway. Anyway. Yep, yep, yep. Everybody gets a medal for the Eastern Conference win. All these guys played at least one game. That's good. Philippe. Yes, he was very good, but we're not going to praise him because I believe we praised him last game. Inter Miami to pay, play LAFC in the cup. Take a look. LAFC. Sammy Jock in goal. Farrell, Parker, Redding, Wagner. Renteria, season ending injury. Ouch. Dylan Powers, Peter Lee Vassell. Carlos Vela, Diego Rossi, Julio Furch is their other designated player, striker. Interesting. Is he, did he come here this year? Last year for $5.25 million. All right, we'll have a more in-depth look at the LAFC next episode. Till then. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. I was going to say something else, but I'm not going to.